Hey everyone, Thomas here from Archetype Themes, here to talk to you about the new and improved pop-up section that is launching in the spring 2022 release of all of our themes. Pop-ups, you love them, you hate them, but they work, especially when it comes to building your customer email list. When compared to a traditional footer email signup, Omnisend has seen that they've increased signups by 150%. And blogger Jane Friedman was able to double the size of her email list. Why even bother with an email list? Because it's one of the most effective marketing assets you can have as a business. Did you know that 96% of consumers check their email every day and that 61% of companies generate more than 10% of sales from email? Email marketing is one of the biggest sales channels on Black Friday, driving 28% of average business revenue. So why is there this love-hate relationship with pop-ups and email? Well, I'm sure we can all agree that when used ineffectively, they can feel frivolous and over-aggressive. It's too much content, takes up too much space, difficult to close and hide, annoying. Ultimately, the message or promotion a business is trying to drive can easily be missed if the experience is not on point. Even worse, it can trigger customers enough for them to leave your shopping experience altogether. So let's take a look at the new and improved pop-up section that is now included in all of Archetype's themes as of the spring 2022 release and how it has all the features you need to roll out a successful email pop-up experience. So we are here in Expanse. We are shopping for furniture. We're setting up our furniture store and we want our email pop-up. So first thing we're gonna do is go to the pop-up section right below the header section in your theme editor great we see the pop-up when we click on it we don't need to wait for a delay we don't need to work around any any fancy behavior here's our pop-up first thing we want to do we want to enable it by default it's disabled we don't want to show this pop-up before it's ready right okay enable it in this case we are asking for sign up so we don't want to be showing this to people who are have already signed up let's make sure it's this pop-up is disabled for account holders now delay I'm gonna set it to five seconds just so for the sake of this demo so I can show you at the end how this all works. But generally, we're seeing people set it somewhere between 10 and 20 seconds. 10 is more aggressive, more people are gonna see it, but they might get maybe triggered from it and it might turn them off. Slower delay gives them a bit more time to do what they're wanting to do and then it's presented. Really play it to your, the audience uh, that you're serving, it depends on the audience. There's no magic number here. Frequency. We don't want to show this pop-up for 30 days, let's say. Uh, if it's been closed, we don't want to show it again to the customer for 30 days. Setting up our content. In this case, I've got the content pre-filled. Get 10% off your first purchase going through. As you can see here now, we have uh, images in our pop-up. So you can set the position of it left and right. Uh, just gives an extra little something there to a pop-up instead of just having text like we had before. Uh, now for Expanse, it's really cool. We have color schemes. So here we can select through and three. That's one similar to the first one. You know, I kind of like that first one there, teal. Uh, show social icons. That's all looking great. Newsletter, we want to enable newsletter. That's what's going to let us collect uh, emails. And then button, in this case, we don't want to have a button. We just want the email sign up to be the call to action. You'd use this button if instead of collecting emails, you wanted to send people to a page uh, promotion or, or some, something that you're wanting to drive traffic to. So that looks good. Let's hit save here. And as you can see, we've got a beautiful desktop pop-up layout. And if we switch to mobile, we can see how this adapts to a mobile audience. We don't show the image on mobile. It's not enough space. Uh, Google actually will dock SEO points, will, will dock your search rankings if your pop-up is not formatted for mobile. So by default, we ship all of these pop-ups with mobile and desktop versions. Now, finally, let me get back to the desktop version here. Are you the type of person that sees a pop-up and instantly closes it? like? Don't, don't show me any pop-ups. I'm busy doing something. What is this thing doing here? Well, if you are that type of person, we have a feature for you, or if you have a lot of customers that you probably think have that reaction, this next feature is for you. So included in all the new versions of our newsletter, of our email pop-up, 
is the sticky reminder. So we're going to add that over here. Just inside of the pop-up section, we're going to add this sticky reminder block. And as you can see, it pops up here in the bottom left corner, get 10% off. So this is just a little reminder, a little nudge on your call to action that is in your pop-up. And it's something that will show up after your pop-up is closed, just in case the person didn't really get what was in there. And just another, another attempt, another attempt at getting their attention. So you can set the content here. We have get 10% off and it's looking good. Well, so let me show you the preview of this site so you can see the full behavior of, of what this sticker reminder is and how it actually works. I hit save here. There we go. Preview. Gonna hide this bar. Okay, I'm just scrolling along here, checking out the products. Oh, no, don't like this. Okay, keep going through, looking at, oh, okay. There's some nice vacuum jugs. And the, oh, I see, get 10% off. Where's that coming from? Oh, that's what the pop-up was about. So you can see there's just a little extra nudge that's, that's now available with this sticky reminder to really drive home email signups and to drive home the incentives that you're including for these email setups. Your email list is one of the most important assets in your marketing toolkit, and email pop-ups are an effective way to growing it. Check out our new and improved pop-up section available in the latest spring 2022 release of all of our themes. That's it for this feature walkthrough. Until next time, happy theming.